Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 15 reprints in Commander 2016. We have some very, very good ones. I'll start with number 15, Swords to Plowshare. Definitely a card that you cannot really have enough of and quite expensive. And I'm happy to see it here. Number 14, Grav. Grav is a one of the original commanders and something that I miss. And it's nice to see him coming back. It's nice to see Kalir in anthologies. Uh, these original commanders are what started the game, so makes sense to have them back again. Next, Burjaming. And this card has been reprinted recently. However, it used to be a $20 card. As many reprints as necessary uh, should happen for expensive cards, especially ones played in Ediates, and this makes a lot of sense. Pass in Flames. Was not expecting this card. Very happy to see it. It is in a tier 2 deck in Modern that is getting expensive. Essentially, what is happening is they are telling speculators, we're going to reprint just random cards. So nothing is safe from a reprint. Maybe reserve list. Scavenging Ooze, a very powerful, very valuable card. At one time, it used to be worth $40 when it was just in the original Commander decks. Now it's worth slightly less, but always nice to see it in a commander set because it is, I mean, it was the priciest card in commander at one point in time. Chromatic, wow, this card needed a reprint. I'm very glad I got one. Definitely something that I look forward to buying in this particular deck. Its price was getting out of control and there's so much value in these decks. Next, we're going to go into a card that I was surprised to see, and it's a Planeswalker. It's a Planeswalker from one of the old, the newer, I guess, Commander decks. This sets a very good precedent that the fact that they can reprint Planeswalkers in these Commander sets or in a pre-constructed set, I like it. I like the concept. Den Protector, another very good precedent where they said, hey, you know, whatever, if the card isn't just rotated out, if the card is good, we'll put it in the deck. And that's the philosophy that I like them to have, is they're not afraid to reprint cards even if they recently rotated out. Boros Charm, one of the best cards in modern uh, for the burn decks, always a tier 1, tier 1.5 type of card. One of the best burn spells, and so happy to see it in this deck. I wasn't expecting it to be in this deck, but very, very happy to see it, nonetheless. Next, Baleful. This card, again, was a $20 card when it was like Plain Chase or something, and it was only available in Plain Chase. It was like $20, $25 card. It's just been reprinted to Oblivion, and that's the way it has to be. For all future sets, I feel like it's a good philosophy. Skull Clamp, one of the most powerful cards, and it is banned in Modern. But overall, I do like to see these type of power level cards. So the pre-constructed decks are not just for beginners. They're great for beginners, but they also offer cards for more advanced players. Did not expect to see this Hedgemont. Um, this card is very, very good. It has an infinite combo in EDH. Generally, if you're playing with like seven players in your play group, somebody will have this built. One of the more fun cards, especially with artifacts and in the correct colors as well. So overall, very amazing to have that card. Oh, wow. This one came again as a surprise. And a lot of these cards were surprising because I didn't feel like they would be reprinted. But this card is vintage playable. It is extremely strong in that format and definitely something that you can combo with. My top two are a little strange. Foundry, mainly because of the time of Foundry, so they, when they unbanned it, the card just spiked up in price so much. I feel like that the Commander decks can be a source of reprints, a useful source of reprints, and not just some random casual junk, right? It's actually useful, and I'm very happy to see this. And lastly, one of my favorite, favorite Commanders of all time, really happy to see him again. His price was getting a little high, and... I think Commander decks are a great place to see valuable reprints or semi-valuable reprints. 
Anyway, leave me a comment below. What was your favorite reprint? And what was your favorite card in the set? Bye, guys.